Hey there, aloha, Bo here, and in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you my very simple three-step keyword strategy that I use for my Amazon Associate Affiliate Marketing websites. Now this strategy is very, very simple. It's something that can be done in just a few minutes, and it's also something that can be very inexpensive or even free. Before I tell you about that, let me tell you a little bit about this channel. Again, my name is Bo. This channel is Waves and Websites coming to you here from Oahu, Hawaii. I share tips on affiliate marketing, Amazon Associates, building at affiliate websites. So if you're interested in that, I hope you'll give me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Now, the first step is actually to download a tool called Keywords Everywhere. And I'll hop over to my computer and show you what that looks like. I said the first part of this keyword research strategy is to install Keywords Everywhere. And that's at keywordseverywhere.com. You're going to come to this site. You can definitely check out the various features of the program. There's a lot going on with it. It's pretty awesome. But you can install it, obviously, on your browser of choice. I'm currently in Chrome, so just click on Install for Chrome, grab the extension, and then add it to Chrome, like so. Once you install Keywords Everywhere, you're going to be redirected to this page, and it's going to kind of give you the rundown on the difference between the free version and the paid version. I definitely recommend the paid version. Really, it's the most inexpensive <laughs> keyword tool on the market. I've spent $10 and I've used the program for about seven months and haven't run out of what they call credits. And also to, I guess, e execute the strategy that I'm gonna teach you, you do need credits. However, there are some features of the free version that if you wanna try it out first and kind of get a sense of how it works, uh, you definitely can try the free version as well. Once you sign up, you're gonna get an API key. Uh, once you once you purchase credits, I recommend just plopping down the 10 bucks and getting credits. All right, so as it says here, if you click on get API key, you're gonna be taken to this page where it says sign up for your API key. And it says you only need to sign up for an API key if you're gonna plan to purchase credits. So you don't need this if you're not gonna purchase credits, but you definitely wanna get your API key. So you're gonna enter your email, obviously, and you're agree to the terms of service and then email yourself the API key. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to buy credits. Again, this part is optional, but I highly recommend that you go ahead and purchase credits. You can actually purchase the minimum amount of credits. The $10 will give you 100,000 credits. Like I said, I, I did that, and the 100,000 credits have lasted me over six, seven months now without running out of the $10. So best $10 I've ever spent on SEO. And again, highly recommend that. So go ahead and buy now. And go through the process of purchasing your credits. Okay, so once you've purchased your credits and you have your API key, you're going to go to either the, the Chrome extension or the Firefox plugin. And this is how you do it on Chrome. You're gonna right click on the, the Keywords Everywhere icon and you're gonna click on Options. And you'll be taken to the option page. And obviously you're gonna put your API key here. You're gonna validate it. You're gonna see some different options. I like to just leave all of these checked now you can uncheck some of these things, like if you don't use DuckDuckGo or Answer the Public, etc. You can uncheck those things and then go ahead and save it. And that's it. So you'll notice that once you have Keywords Everywhere installed on your browser and you start to search for things, that Keywords Everywhere is going to pop up around in different places. And it's pretty cool. You're going to see the trend data here over here on the top right. You're going to see related keywords down towards the bottom. Also other keywords that people might search for. So this is all just great in terms of ideas for finding keywords, finding articles that you might write, you know, using this example of nose hair trimmers. And again, it's going to be all over the place. Places like Amazon, same thing. If you do a search for nose hair trimmer, you're going to see just again, suggestions with the different search volumes, the type of uh, cost per click if you're doing uh, pay-per-click and that kind of thing. And also YouTube. So YouTube, again, you'll, you're going to find it kind of any anywhere, everywhere you go. All right, so once you have Keywords Everywhere installed on your computer, the second thing that you want to be doing is going to KeywordShitter.com. And yep, that's just like it sounds, uh, fun. Keyword, S-H-I-T-T-E-R.com. So go to that website. I'll hop over there on my own computer and show you what to do there. Are at Keyword Shitter, and you're going to do in this little box here, you're going to put your root keyword. So let's say, using that example of no search trimmer, put that. 
Now you might want to put some variations of that as well. I highly recommend with associate Amazon affiliate websites, just affiliate program websites in general. You want to you want to target buyer intent keywords, so you might do something like vest, nose, hair, trimmer, or nose hair trimmer. If you have a particular model that you that you know, you might put like verse there. So you know that's a that's a very popular those kind of comparison posts, but. Usually what I'll do is I'll run those separately because it'll give you a whole different list of keywords or you can run them all at once. So anyway, so once you have your root keywords there, you're going to let it run. And you're going to let it run for a while. I mean, usually it only takes a minute or two. Sometimes it can take more if you have a have a bigger niche. I'll let it run for a while. You see it's starting to get in the best the best versions of the keywords there, which again, those are those are great to target on Amazon Associate Affiliate websites. You see there's this is a this is a great keyword. This is making me want to start a best nose hair web nose hair trimmer website. But those of you watching, uh, have at it. I don't have a website in this realm. It's all you guys. So anyway, yeah, like I said, let it run for a while until you start to see the, the, the keywords that are being suggested are going to be kind of nonsensical or silly. I'm going to stop this job here. Just as the example. And you'll see down at the bottom of the page, because you now have keywords everywhere installed on your computer, it has copied all these keywords and put the keywords everywhere data into them. It's got the volume data, the cost per click, et cetera, the competition level and so forth. So there you go. That's what you're going to do on KeywordShitter.com. Okay, so the third part of this process is to export your, your Keyword Shitter list into a CSV and then go to either Microsoft Excel and open the file. I usually, what I'll do is I'll take it into Google Docs uh, like I'm about to show you here. Once you've let Keyword Shitter do its thing, what you're going to do is go down to the very bottom where it says Export CSV, and you're going to click that, and it will download the CSV to your computer. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open that CSV in your Google Docs or Microsoft Excel. Again, I prefer Google Docs, but uh, usually what I'll do is I'll expand this just so you can see the kind of keywords there, and then I will go ahead and I will sort the spreadsheet by its uh, volume. So go ahead and short sort by column B and you'll see it's ordered it by the volume that that keyword is getting in terms of searches. And again, so you're going to see these keywords here and you'll see uh, just a whole list of keywords, ideas to write articles on. So you can see nose hair trimmer for ladies might be a good one. Best nose and hair trimmer. You could write another article on that. You could write another article on the best brawn nose hair trimmers, etc. So I go through the list and I just find some, some, some great keywords to use and go from there. So again, this is just a very simple way of finding keywords to write articles on. Often, I'll, you know, this, again, this takes about just a few minutes to get the spreadsheet. Uh, usually, it's based, depending on the, on the, topic that you're going for it really it only should only take you within just a few minutes to find just a whole bunch of topics to write articles on so hope you found this helpful again it's it's a very effective strategy if you write articles just on the various keywords that you find in keyword shitter and keywords everywhere all right so i hope you found that video helpful again it's it's something that's a very simple strategy and has worked pretty awesomely for myself uh for my own affiliate marketing websites uh you can check out some of my other videos where i share kind of the numbers what i've made online over the past few months and years but again if you like this video i hope you give it a give it a like I hope you'll subscribe follow along in my journey as i share just more from Hawaii, more from my own my own path as an affiliate marketer creating passive income online. So thanks so much for watching. Until next time, aloha, mahalo. Cheers.